Welcome to Rockstar Productions, where in this video we are going to show you how you can protect your retro video games and make them look great on your shelves with these guys here from CustomGameCases.com. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Gary here from Rockstar Productions, and before we get started, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel, including other videos where we talk about how to store and maintain your games and how to clean old games and make them perform like new. And if you really like what you see here, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And what I want to know from you, were you a fan of Mario 64? A lot of people are, some people weren't. For me, I enjoy it a lot. I actually enjoy it a whole lot more than Mario Sunshine, which followed it up. I do think it is a great game, a great first entry into the 3D platformer world for Mario, but there was some room for improvement. So let me know your thoughts about Mario 64 down below in the comments. So I've been seeing these ads come through on my Facebook feed lately from this company called CustomGameCases.com. It's been driving me nuts because well, quite honestly, there are some games I need cases for. And what caught my attention to begin with was one of the ads they were running was talking about cases for the Virtual Boy. Now, I do have my copies of Terror Boxer and Mario Clash right here. And these have custom video game sleeves.com sleeves on them, but I really wanted a case. So I reached out to the folks and I placed an order and and I asked them, hey, I want to kind of feature your stuff. I want to see what you're all about. So they actually sent us some extra goodies here to check out. Now they have cases for Virtual Boy, for NES, Super NES, Genesis, Game Gear, Game Boy. There's a ton of different systems that are up there. I even mentioned to them, hey, how about some Famicom cases coming up? Super Famicom cases, import stuff gave them some ideas so hopefully we see some more cool stuff coming from them in the near future but I wanted to go ahead and not only protect my Virtual Boy games but I had other games that are important to me in my collection that I wanted to go ahead and protect as well so what we're gonna do we're gonna take these we're gonna throw them on the bench kind of show you how basically they're molded how the artwork looks how they hold cartridges and everything and kind of give you our opinion let's get started so we got a nice stack of cases here from the gang and, and we're gonna check out and show you each one one by one. So uh, we did get Telro Boxer, you know, nice box art. And, and the nice thing is the fact that it's a real accurate reproduction of what the original box art looked like. That's, that's one of the things I really like about it. And on the inside of the case here, you can see that you have tabs to hold the manual if you have it, plus tabs to hold the game in as well. So there's Telro Boxer and Mario Clash. These are the two games that I just did not have the cases for. I bought them loose. Uh, and we'll get to the other cases here in a second. I want to see how everything fits in here. So a couple things about this is you do have, like I mentioned, the, you know, the tabs to hold the manual and everything, which is nice. You have their URL molded into the case, which is nice as well. The tabs have a really positive lock. I mean, they're not, it's not a death grip to keep everything together, but it's a really nice positive lock. And my copy of Mario Clash doesn't have a little protector on the bottom. So uh, we will just take that, snap it in. And again, my thing is just to make sure that we don't break anything. There we go. Everything snaps right into place. You know, you've got a good display piece now here too with the, the proper box art. And then again, you've got everything on the back that kind of spells out what it is that you have. I mean, this, this looks a lot like the actual cases for the Virtual Boy. So we'll set Mario Clash aside. We'll bring Tero Boxer in. And one of the cool things now is there's a lot of development going on with like Virtual Boy consolizers and other things like that so you can play the Virtual Boy without hurting your eyes and that's how it fits with the guard on the bottom. Um, so I may actually steal that off there and put that on Mario Clash quite honestly but you know two really nice cases here for my Virtual Boy and it'll look great on the shelf. So up next we're going to look at some NES cases. Um, I have the Nintendo World Championships case. And no, I don't have an actual NWC card. I'll explain this in a second. Uh, we also have two versions 
of the Darkwing Duck case. And the reason why I have this is I'm gonna use one for my PAL version and one for my uh, NTSC version. So, uh, but here you can also see how it's, you know, either the black or the clear case. Now, one of the things that I like about these cases versus others that I've seen, and I actually own one, uh, here's the one that I have for Super Castlevania 4. I don't like the way that it's kind of got that ridge there. Um, I would, I, I prefer this style of molding where it's a very, you know, flat, positive piece as it sits. You don't have to worry about it really, you know, moving around or, or anything like that. Um, and then the NWC cart that I have, that I said I was going to mention here in a sec, it's one of the um, the retro zone ones that are available through the retro USB guys. So I like this box and everything, but I just really wanted something to properly display it. And you have the NWC recap on the back here. Well, if you look, you have the NWC recap on the back there. So it definitely stays within you know what was produced here by. Um, you know, the, the Retro Zone gang and gives you that feeling of a finished case. Now, they actually have a couple different variants of the box art for this too. And that's one of the cool things is they do have multiple artwork. Um, again, you have the tabs in here for the instruction booklet. You have tabs that hold the game in. We're gonna put everything in here and see how it looks. So here we will just put our instruction booklet in there holds it nice and securely. Now, do I have to take it out of the sleeve? That is my question. And no, I'm not throwing this away. Uh, I will collapse it down though for easier storage. So you cannot store it in the case. Put the bottom tabs in first, snap the top in. That's nice, I really like that, and it keeps everything together. Um, it would be nice if I could use the clear cases or the, the cases like this, but you don't really need it since you have everything in here. So now we are going to get a little bit dangerous, so I have my PAL version of Darkwing here. I love this game, and I actually love the PAL version. I've played more of the PAL version than the US version, and uh, I got it at AB Games in Lübeck, Germany when I was there in 2018. Um, and since this is, one of the differences on the US versus the PAL version is the color of the label. So on the PAL version here, you can see the game pack by Capcom, that's in white, whereas the US version is all purple. So I'm actually going to use, this is the clear version. Now, unfortunately, it's not complete, so I only have the cartridge, but you are gonna snap that in there. Now, in the event that your artwork becomes damaged or something like that, you can slide that out and slide new artwork in. Um, I'm not sure if they would print off uh, a replacement for you. I'm sure that they could, however, um, pretty easily. So there's that for my PAL version. And while I have you know, my NTSC version, so there's the PAL version ready to go and be stored on my shelf and be played. These aren't just gonna sit here, these will actually be played. This one, however, see, I could put this version in there. I could. However, I am going to put this version in here. This is my copy of Darkwing Duck I got at the Midwest Gaming Classic in 2019. And Tad Stones, who was the creator of Darkwing, autographed it. Um, this has been in a plastic case since I got it home from that weekend. And the only time the plastic wrap has been off of this case has been for Tad to sign it. I, I'm so bummed out that we lost the Midwest Gaming Classic 2020 due to COVID-19 because um, I was going to take my other two copies and have Tad sign those as well. Now this, will it fit in here? It does fit in with that clear kind of plastic on it. So I can have, again, that extra little level and layer of protection on that signature uh, so that this is well protected, basically. So I've shown you Virtual Boy, I've shown you NES. Let's get into Super NES because I've got a really cool one to show you here. So one of the really cool features that the um, GameCases.com folks offer is 
accessory cases for the Super Game Boy, but you can also get different artwork layout as well. So if you'd rather have it uh, landscape versus portrait or portrait versus landscape, those options are available for you. And what's nice, I mean, the the artwork, the message, every, it's basically the exact same thing. I do like the fact, play Game Boy in color. I like that a lot. This artwork is very similar to what I showed you a little bit earlier on that other case for Super Castlevania 4. And even the information on the back, well, similar, slightly different. Um, I love this. This is amazing. Now, I only have one Super Game Boy. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I, I, I really like the way that that looks. So here we have my Super Game Boy and I'm gonna throw it in the clear one. And again, I wanna see if I can leave the plastic protector on on the bottom. Yeah, it does not look like I will be able to do that. Nope. So you will not be able to use these guys here, but so we're gonna slide. Again, I don't wanna damage the tabs. So that's how that fits in there, nice and protects the pins. Uh, the spine helps provide extra dust uh, protection and everything here. So there you go, nice level of protection there for my Super Game Boy. And again, this is look, gonna look awesome on my shelf. And I use this on the regular too, and I will probably pick up a Super Game Boy 2 to put into this one. So the last set of cases that I ordered was for the N64. And much like some of the other artwork, they are available in both portrait and landscape mode. Um, absolutely love the vibrant colors and everything on here for both Earthworm Jim 3 and for Super Mario 64. I mean, this is a perfect reproduction as far as uh, the color, the design and everything for what the original box looked like, you know, even down to the details on the back. Now, you can tell that these were printed, so they, there are a couple areas where the, um, the lettering and the colors are a little bit on the light side. Like looking at Mario right here, I can definitely see that. Uh, but much like the NES, Super NES, and the Virtual Boy games, you've got a tab here to hold uh, the manual. What's cool up here is you have a spot to hold the memory card and then hold the cartridge down below. We will snap that guy in here. There's that. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a memory card within reach to test out, but I have no doubt that it would fit in here without uh, any issue too. Look at that. I mean, that just looks, that's gonna look great on the shelf. Now, Earthworm Jim 3D, terrible game. I, it pains me to say that. Uh, but again, you've got all the, the artwork and everything on the back like you should. Same thing on the interior where you have spots for your manual and for your memory card. And we will pop this guy in. And there we go. And again, it holds the cartridge firmly so it's not gonna fall out and it's gonna provide you with a great display piece on your shelf. Let's wrap things up. So there you have our look at some of the offerings available through customgamecases.com. I gotta thank those guys for hooking me up with some additional stuff above and beyond what I had ordered. Very, very cool. Um, I like the artwork on them. I like the fact that you have the two different case options where you could get it in either portrait or landscape mode, the clear or the black, or in the case of some of the other cases, you have other colors like on the Virtual Boy games, how you have the red here. Um, I just, I like the overall package that they have here. It has a spot to hold the manual. It holds the games securely, perhaps a little bit too securely in some instances. But overall, I am very pleased to have these now uh, to help protect my investments. I don't say investment like I'm gonna flip it around, but I have money invested in this stuff. I want it to stay in good shape, especially like my autographed copy of Darkwing. Kind of hurts me a little bit that I won't be able to see the cartridge. I may still just put the US cartridge in there instead and, and have put put Darkwing back up there where he was before. But let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Is this something you would invest in or you have invested in? Do you like the way that they are offering this? Would you use this to store your games? Now one thing, obviously with the NES games and Super NES games, these cases take up, and the N64 games for that matter, 
these cases take up a lot more space. So like for example, with my NES games, they won't fit in my tower that I have over there or to the other side there. So I have to find someplace else to store these. That is something that I do have to keep in mind now. Um, and I do wish, I think they need to go back to the drawing board a little bit on the Super Game Boy case. Had a little bit of an issue getting everything in here and shut securely. Um, but I don't think they need to make any major tweaks, minor tweaks. Uh, and the nice thing though too, looking at the overall case design, the Nintendo case, the, the NES case, same height as the Super NES case, same height as the N64 case. So you don't have like different heights of games. Think about a, you know, a Wii or a Wii U CD or game case versus the height of a PS3 or PS4 case. There's differences in height there and that kind of makes it look just Weird. If you have uh, OCD about stuff like that, it'll drive you bonkers. This, it's a uniform height and everything. Really good job. And the artwork looks great too. Let me know again down in the comments if this is something you would consider picking up. And if so, what games would you want to get custom cartridge cases for? Let me know. If you do have any other questions or comments, as always, you can also email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios, Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions, and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. I've tried to put more content up over the last couple of weeks on all of those. Hopefully you've noticed. Hopefully you guys and gals out there appreciate it. Now talking about things appreciated, I gotta say, I appreciate everyone who helps support the future of Rock Solid Productions. And there are a lot of people do it in a number of different ways. First and foremost, to all of my Patreon supporters out there at patreon.com slash rock solid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you get early access to all of our content, exclusive content, and more. Thank you for everything you do to help keep this channel going. And our new channel members that we have here on YouTube, starting at $1.99 and going up from there, thank you for all that you do. And again, you also get the same rewards and benefits, early access, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. Thomas Potts, of all people, is even a channel member. Bird of Prey 5 isn't a channel member. I, I, I don't think, no, anti is not a channel member. Um, I don't think Yosef Patrick is a channel member. Gaming Off The Grid for sure is not a channel member. Just throwing that out there, you know, a little, a little bit of Catholic guilt goes a long way there. Uh, but seriously, thank you all who do go ahead and help us each and every month. And then finally, if you want to go ahead and show your support for Rock Solid Productions and rock some Rock Solid Productions swag, head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more, all featuring the Rock Solid Productions logo on a different retro style cartridge. Now, I am working on a Switch style as well, so hopefully that'll be soon. Um, these are awesome. If you wanna see more too, if you wanna stay in the loop, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. That way you are kept the most up to date. Thank you guys so much for hooking me up with, with these guys here. Make sure you check them out. I will have information on where you can check them out on a pin post down below. That way you can see everything that they offer. I mean, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, NES, Super NES, N64. There are so many different cases that they have up there and they all look great. My name is Gary and this has been Rock Solid Productions and our look at the different cases available from the gang over at customgamecases.com. These are great. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. <laughs>